Search and rescue crews are looking through woods in Placer County right now. They're hoping to track down a missing teen. Here's a picture of 16 year old Dante De La Torre, who was reported missing last night by the Placer County Sheriff's Office. They say he was last seen at Colfax High School and he was headed to the Gold Run rest stop. And that is where we find KCRA 3's Michelle Bandur with the latest on the search efforts. Michelle, the weather is a concern for search crews down the line. Yes, Ty, as every hour passes, searchers are getting more concerned, especially with that storm moving in and the weather getting colder. Now, we are told that he does have snow boots with him, but there are still no sign of him. And also, Placer County Sheriff's deputies haven't moved his car. This is his car right here at the rest stop. Uh, they haven't moved it since they found it last night. Now, there was yellow tape up around it, surrounding it, as well as a deputy vehicle here. But about 3.30, uh, they took down the tape and the deputy took off. So we're not sure what that means, but we hope to get an update. Uh, Dante De La Torre's parents called 911 when he didn't come home last night after working on that school project here at the Gold Run rest stop right off of I-80. It's a 20 minute drive on I-80 East from Colfax High School to the Gold Run rest stop. This is where the Placer County Sheriff's Office says 16 year old Dante De La Torre was headed for work on a school project at 1230 Wednesday afternoon. He was supposed to be collecting soil samples uh, for that project that he was working on, and he just never made it back up to his vehicle. Deputies secured the area around the teen's car parked in the rest stop. Investigators searched it, but say they didn't find anything unusual. Several search and rescue teams with canines who are specialized in wilderness survival and map and compass training are combing the heavily wooded area, looking for any sign of the 11th grade high school student. They're working on a deadline before dark and before the next storm arrives. They're strapped for time. They need to search as quickly as possible, but as thoroughly as possible to find Dante before this storm begins. Deputies have asked the public and the family and his friends to stay away from this terrain, this heavily wooded area, not only for safety purposes, but they also don't want anybody else to track anything in here and to disturb any evidence that there might be, you know, of that the search dogs, you know, may find. Um, authorities say the teen did have extra water with him as, long, as well as a towel and a shovel for that school project. Now we're told he was in an excel he's in an accelerated program, the International Baccalaureate Program at Colfax High School, where he is a junior, and he also plays on the soccer team. So folks are just wanting to find him. Um, they don't suspect any foul play in his disappearance, but again, that search is going on right now, and they hope to find something, some sign of him before it gets dark. Reporting live in Placer County, Michelle Bandor, KCRA 3 News. Yes, we all hope we, they find him soon. Michelle, did he have his phone and are there cameras at the rest stop? Anything that would help investigators? Yeah, those are questions that we asked as well, Ty. Uh, we did not see any cameras here along this rest stop, and the Placer County Sheriff's Office could not confirm if there are any cameras here. But the Sheriff's Office did say he does have a phone. They tracked the phone. It's not in his car. They wouldn't say if it's on him, but they say they were able to track that. And again, we're hoping to get an update from the Sheriff's Office soon with any information.